Hi, my name's Juju from the band Little Fish, and I'm talking to successful women I've met in the world of music. Today, I'm talking to Sierra Swan and Karina Round, who both have successful careers as artists and who also happen to rock. Hello, my name is Sierra Swan. Hello, my name's Karina Round. I learned piano at a young age, and then I learned guitar. I self kind of taught myself when I was 15 and started writing songs when I was 15, 16. I started listening to it from when I was born. My, uh, my mother, who, who I lived with, was a huge music fan and would play vinyl all the time, so I was immersed in it before I even knew what it was. I first started playing um, the when I was quite late, actually, when I was around 15 or so. It was the first time I picked up a guitar and the first time I really began to actively start to make a career out of it uh, was when I was closer to 17. I started actually playing shows and playing songs that I'd written on stage. Why specifically did you decide to learn how to play guitar? Because I was a, a part of that whole, you know, I was a teenager when that whole grunge era uh, occurred. I was 15, um, you know, high school, 16 years old, when that exploded. And um, I really wanted to learn how to play guitar because all that music was really guitar based. And I was inspired by that whole thing, you know, the Nirvana thing and um, Jane's Addiction. I was a huge fan of Jane's Addiction. And, um, so, I just wanted to start writing music on a guitar. You know, I was influenced greatly by that period. And I think uh, I'm not alone in that. I think a lot of other women picked up guitars because of, you know, bands like Hole. I had a stack of lyrics as an angry teenager that um, I thought I wanted to make songs out of. and. Um, so I would get together with various people that I knew could play an instrument so that I could write songs with them to have a platform to um, put my lyrics to and for most, for the most part I just ended up being really frustrated and dissatisfied with the music that they wrote so I decided to pick up a guitar myself and learn how to play it. I started writing my own music pretty much pretty soon, you know, I never I never wanted to learn a song and start playing it and I just wanted to write my own music and my own song. Did you start music by playing other people's music? No. When you started your career, was there anything that you found particularly difficult to overcome which would be specific to a female band singer? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I started out in a band called Doll's Head when I was 18. and. You know, it was very difficult. I was the only female in the band. I was also very young. And whether they thought they did or not, you know, my opinions were not the most important, you know. And um, that was really frustrating because I happened to think that my opinions were better than their, theirs, which everybody thinks in a band. But um, yeah, it was really frustrating. Um, and I even was told by an A&R guy um, you know, kind of straight to my face that in a private meeting, you know, he made sure no one else was around, that he wasn't going to let a little girl like me ruin his career. There was something about it that was extremely, it wasn't just ageism, there was some sexism going on there too. The only thing that I found really annoying is when people refer to me as a female singer. Like, why not just a singer? For instance, I would get people saying, you're my favorite female singer, which of course is a very flattering and wonderful thing to hear, but I always wondered why you wouldn't go up to someone and say you're my favorite male singer. Do you think the public react differently to a female fronted rock band than to a male fronted rock band? I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, they immediately will look immediately a female fronted rock band is um, 
going to be judged a little bit harshly. And there's also just this kind of secret code amongst, uh, I feel, radio programmers and record companies that they will only play a certain amount of female-fronted bands and they'll only sign a certain amount of female-fronted artists or singers or bands. And I'm not sure what that's all about. It's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah, one, they love to compare female front of bands with other female front of bands and get really harsh and they almost want to get they get really catty about female uh, fronted rock singers they want they want to compare and contrast and really put um, women against each other and it's really lame and I just don't understand why that's something that that happens yes for sure the public does react differently. They're a little bit more judgmental they, and they compare more instead of just letting it be what it is and accept it for what it is. And I wish that would stop, but it hasn't. I certainly know more men that would sit in their bedrooms as kids playing guitar because they're wanting to be in a band than I do women that did that. And I, I do know a few, but certainly as a ratio thing, there's definitely more men that I think it appeals to men more to be a, in a band, I guess. Like as I know more women that grew up wanting to dress up in their mom's shoes and be a nurse or be a princess and be a, ended up as a stylist or a, something else. I don't know, maybe it's a ratio thing, like more men become truck drivers because it appeals to them more. We definitely live in a world where different things appeal to men and women. Where I was brought up, it just really didn't feel like an option for anyone, let alone a woman. Well, of course, there's a, a lack of it. Um, I think that once again, like I said before, society enjoys, they only allow a certain amount of females to be um, heard. And they have, you know, you have your, your Gwen Stefani and you have a Courtney Love and you have a Patti Smith, you have Stevie Nicks, you have uh, Tori Amos. And these are categories of a certain kind of, kind of female musician, like there's hard rock and there's poet and there's um, fun punk pop and there's like these queens of these genres and anyone that tries to kind of get over there there's they're compared to that person and they own their careers maybe last a, uh, you know a little while but um, it seems to me that they don't people don't understand that you know it's simply people get influenced by other musicians and they're not trying to be like that musician they're just doing their version of their inspirations. And um, so therefore, there is a serious lack of female rock musicians because of that. They're not allowed to come in. There's only these people, and unless you're doing something completely crazy, um, then no one's going to pay attention. It just seems to me.